In the last presentation, we have seen about the basics of relational algebra. In this presentation onwards, let's focus on the various relational algebra operations one by one. Let's start with the first relational algebra operation, the SELECT operation. Before we step into the topic of the day, the relational algebra, the SELECT operation, let's quickly revisit the various relational algebra operations. Basically, relational algebra operations are classified into fundamental operations and additional operations. In this presentation, we are going to focus on the fundamental operations and we have basically six fundamental operations. Number one, the select operation. Number two, the project. Number three, union. Number four, set difference. Number five, Cartesian product. And number six, the rename operation. And in this presentation, we are going to focus only on the first fundamental operation, the SELECT operation. Why waiting? Let's step into the topic of the day, the SELECT operation. Why do we need the SELECT operation in relational algebra? Basically, this SELECT operation selects the tuples that satisfy a given predicate. This SELECT, when we give a predicate or a condition, based on the condition, it selects all the tuples. The key point here is it's going to select all the tuples. Say for example, if we have a table or a relation and this relation has 100 rows or 100 tuples, the output is going to be tuples that are satisfying the given condition or the given predicate. No worries, when we see an example, you will be able to understand things clearly. And how it is denoted? Basically, the select operation is denoted by the lowercase Greek letter sigma. And this is the lowercase Greek letter sigma. And this is the symbol which is used to denote the select operation in relational algebra. And what are the inputs that this is going to take? One input or two input? We know very well basically a relational algebra is a set of operations. And it can take relations as the input. I mean one or more relations as input. How many relation it is going to take? It is going to take only one input. Let's see the syntax of this select operation. The syntax is the select, the select operator, which is the lowercase Greek letter sigma and there is a subscript and in the subscript of this symbol sigma, we are required to provide the predicate or the condition and this condition is referred as the selection condition because this select operator is going to select the tuples that satisfy this condition. From where it is going to select the tuples? It's going to select the tuples from the relation. Let's see an example, then it will be easy for you to understand. The example here is, I am going to select all the tuples from which relation? Employee relation, where here employee is the relation and what is the condition or the predicate? The department ID is equal to 2. So, this employee relation may contain a lot of tuples, but what tuples we are selecting? All the tuples that are matching the condition or the predicate, the department ID is equal to 2. And this is how we are going to write relational algebra expression for which operation? The SELECT operation. And when we talk about the condition or the predicate, what comparison operator we have used? The comparison operator that we have used in this example is, is equal to. Right. Likewise, what are all the various comparison operators that we can use in the predicate of the relational algebra expression that we are going to use using SELECT operation? Let's see that now. The comparison operators are is equal to, which is used to compare the left hand side and the right hand side not equal to, this is also used to compare the left hand side and the right hand side. After all, all these are comparison operators. All these operators are going to compare the left hand side and the right hand side. And how they are different? This is going to check if both are equal. This is going to check if they are not equal. And this is less than, this is less than or equal to, greater than and greater than or equal to. So, these comparison operators can be used in the predicate of the relational algebra expression. And in the example, what we have seen, we have seen only one condition, that is department ID is equal to 2. Let's assume we need more conditions to be satisfied. I mean, from the employee relation, I want to retrieve the list of all employees where their department ID is equal to 2 and also the salary is greater than $50,000. In that case, we need to ensure that both the conditions are satisfied, isn't it? So, how multiple conditions can be provided in the relational algebra expression? Multiple conditions can be provided in a relational algebra expression using connectives. And the various connectives are AND, OR and NOT. So, this is the operator used to denote AND. This is the operator that is used to denote OR. And this is the negation, the NOT. 
So with this theoretical basics, let's step into example number one and we will be able to understand things clearly. Let's take an example table here. The example table that we are addressing here is the instructor table which contains the attribute, the instructor ID or simply ID, the name, the department name and the salary. So remember, what is the name of the relation? It's instructor. And what are the attributes? ID, name, department name and salary. And we are talking about what relational algebra operation? It's the select operation. And what will be the output of the select operation? It will be tuples, right? And the tuple will be containing all four attributes, ID, name, department name and salary. Remember, we are not filtering the record based on the attribute. We are retrieving or selecting tuples with all four attributes, ID, name, department name and salary. We can't guarantee that our output will be containing all tuples, but all attributes will be there in the output. That's the key difference between the select and the project operation. Don't worry about the project operation now. In the next presentation, we are going to exclusively focus on project. Let's see example number one here. The example one is write a relational algebra expression to find all the instructors working in finance department. So the question is a straightforward question. We are required to write a relational algebra expression to find all the instructors working in finance department. So what we are going to retrieve? Are we going to retrieve the instructor ID? or instructor name or department name or simply salary. No, we are going to retrieve the information about all the instructors working in finance department. The output is going to contain all attributes ID, name, department name and salary. But the condition is who are all working in which department? Finance department. It means the condition is the department name should be finance. Let's see how many finance department instructors are there. Here is one. Here is two. So the output is going to contain two tuples, these two tuples, 26589 Yusuf Finance 95,000 and 12547 Neil Finance 80,000. This is perfect. But what we are asked? We are asked to write a relational algebra expression. Let's solve it now. So the solution is we are going to select, isn't it? Because we are going to select all tuples that are matching this condition, finance department. So the relational algebra expression is we are going to use the select operator and we know the subscript of this select operator is going to be the condition. And what is the condition here? The condition is the instructors working in finance department. So this finance is actually the department name. So I am referring this department name attribute. Can you see here the department name is equal to the comparison operator and this is a text that I am comparing, right? So text that is always enclosed in double quotes. And what is the constant or the value that I am referring? Finance. So the condition is select department name is equal to finance which is in the subscript of this operator select and from which relation I want the output the instructor relation because I am referring to the instructor relation. So here is the relational algebra expression and the output is going to be two tuples. Can you see here 26589 Yusuf finance 95,000 and 12547 Neil finance 80,000. So the output is containing two tuples. And if you note here, we are getting all the attributes ID, name, department name and salary. If you are getting confused what operator we should use for select and project, I'll give you a shortcut. Select, the word select starts with the alphabet S and the letter sigma starts with the alphabet S. So select S and sigma S. So we are selecting all the tuples based on this predicate from this relation. I hope example number one is clear to you. Let's move on to example number two. And we are going to use the same instructor table which we have taken for example number one. But the question is different here. The question is find all instructors with salary greater than $87,000. Find all instructors. Have they mentioned all instructor IDs? No. Have they mentioned all instructor names? No. What they have mentioned? All instructors. It means from the instructor relation all attributes ID, name, department name and salary. So let's see the solution now. The solution is we are going to select. This is the operator that is used for selecting the tuples from the relation. So I'm going to select from which relation? The instructor relation which is this. Am I going to select all the tuples? No. I'm going to select all the tuples that are matching with this condition where the salary is greater than $87,000. Can you see here? It's simply greater than and not greater than or equal to. So the condition is salary column or the salary attribute. Can you see here this salary attribute 
we need to refer the same name here. So this is the name of the attribute which we are referring salary. So the condition is salary greater than which is greater than 87,000. And pause this video for a while and think how many tuples will be there in the output. Let's see that now. Is the salary greater than 87,000? No. Here it is. Yes. 1. So this tuple will be there in the result. Then this one no. This one yes. This tuple will be there in the result. This one no. And this one no. Because 87,000 is greater than or equal to 87,000 is true. But what condition we have given? Salary greater than 87,000. Here 87,000 greater than 87,000 which is false. So this one will be false and this one will be true and this one will be false. So this tuple will also be there on the output. So what are all the tuples we will be getting? The tuple pertaining to Robin, Yusuf and Pratik. And these three tuples will be there in the output. Let's verify that. So the output is going to contain, yes, three records or three tuples. This is 12121 Robin Computer Science 90,000, which is this. And then Yusuf's information, which is this. And then Pratik's information, which is this. And if you note here, select, selects all the attributes, right? ID, name, department name, and salary from the original relation. And only it selects the tuples that are matching this particular condition. So we have seen example 1 and example 2 that are matching only one condition. Let's see an example which involves two conditions. For this also we are going to take the same instructor table and the question is find all instructors here all instructor means all tuples with all attributes who are working in finance department and drawing the salary greater than 87,000. If you note here I am combining example 1 and example 2 here and what is the condition? The condition is those who are working in finance department and this is very important and both the conditions should match. Not only they are working in finance department, they must also draw the salary greater than 87,000. So in this case, we are going to use two conditions and what connective we need here? Is it AND or OR? It's AND because the condition mentioned here is AND. So the solution is simple. We are going to select from which relation? Instructor relation and what are the conditions? The first condition is the department name is equal to finance. Can you see here, I am enclosing this within double quotes and, and the second condition is salary greater than 87,000. Just pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. And the output for this relational algebra expression is going to be only one row because the condition should be department name should be finance and salary should be greater than 87,000. So in the previous example, we have seen three records are shortlisted for salary greater than 87,000. And the records are pertaining to Robin, Yusuf and Pratik. But only Yusuf's record will be obtained here because he is the one who is working for finance department and drawing the salary which is greater than 87,000. But in the other cases, Robin, no. Though he gets the salary greater than 87,000, he is not belonging to finance department. And the same case with Pratik as well. And that's why the output for this relational algebra expression is going to be only one tuple. And that's it guys. I hope you guys have understood the select relational algebra operation. In the next presentation, let's focus on the second relational algebra operation, the fundamental operation, which is the project. Before we sign out, let's see the homework question. In the homework, I have given the same table that we have taken for solving our problems in the examples in this presentation. But it's not a single question in the homework. We have three questions. The first question is, Write an relational algebra expression to find all the instructors drawing salary greater than $60,000 or simply $60,000. Question number one is a straightforward question where you are going to directly apply the select operation with the condition salary greater than $60,000 and from which relation? The relation is the instructor's relation. The instructor relation which is this. And coming to question number two, the question is Write a relational algebra expression to find all the instructors drawing salary between 50,000 and 75,000. Remember, there is no exclusive operator to retrieve values between one number and another number. But we can easily handle the situation with the existing operators. And coming to question number three, write a relational algebra expression to find all the instructors in the instructor relation. But actually question number 3 is tricky when compared to question number 1 and 2. 
because when we want to list all the columns from the instructor relation we can go for project which we are going to see in the next presentation but here what we are required we are required to write a relational algebra expression to find all the instructors in the instructor relation i mean this relation now obviously we need to give the condition because select will not work without a condition but what condition we will give in order to retrieve all the records that's the tricky part here i'll give you a generic condition where salary greater than 1 in this case obviously all the salary values will be greater than 1 but i don't want that condition to be in the answer take another field in the condition and ensure that all the records or all the tuples are listed in the output relation so the task for you is solve all these three questions and post your answer in the comment section i hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching